Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Today we will have a look at the jetlag.photos website, very cool image slider showcasing photos from two very creative photographers. This deconstruction was suggested by Joey, the African Sinatra. Thanks Joey for sending it through. And now let's have a look how the website was put together. Let's have a look at this impressive one-pager where two photographers showcasing the images they took on two different locations. One was in the US, one in Iceland and at the same time they were taking pictures of the current location and here they showcasing them side by side. So we'll deconstruct some of these effects, how the clock is animating and the transition between the slides as well. But firstly, let's have a look at the preloader. We'll see the line growing as the page is loading and then exploding into the button with nice elastic easing. Okay, also when we hover over, we'll see the button squeezing in and the arrows pointing down animating in as well. Okay, so how this was created, it might surprise you, but it is actually a sprite sheet. It is a sprite sheet with all the frames needed for the initial animation and also for the hover effect as well. If we have a look at the HTML, we'll see that there is a container component and inside of it is a canvas object which has coupled data attributes, React data attributes. So the site is using React for the rendering of the canvas and then all the animations are happening on the canvas itself. Okay, so if I hide the canvas, we'll see there is nothing happening. We can transition to the next and previous slides. So the canvas is where everything is happening. The transition between the individual sections is using a mix of Greensock and Pixie.js. As you can see in the slow motion, the screen is divided into 24 rectangles and then animates them into the following section. When we drag the canvas, you'll see that the first item is offset by 84 pixels and then the offset is gradually decreasing. The time itself, it's not HTML text, it is again sprite sheet which animates the numbers up and down when we go from previous to next section. Here is what's happening in Photoshop. If we import all the sprites, we would see that the numbers are animating, just positioning the Y offset and this is the sprites in a folder which has a mask on it. So if I disable the mask, you'll see that all four sprites contain multiple images and they then moving using Greensock or Pixie.js into the right position. And guess what is the plus icon, plus symbol when we expanding one of the sections. This hover effect is also created using Sprite Sheet in Photoshop. We'll have all the frames for the, for the zoom in effect. Now if we look at the developer tools in the XHR tab, which stands for XML HTTP request, <laughs> if I've got it right, we'll see the JSON files which are generating the data rendered on the page. Okay, so if we look at the photos JSON file, you'll see that there are two artists and then the individual photos for each of the sections. So that's where the data is coming from. The individual images for the first section would be these two images. It looks like the time is set in epoch time. Not sure if epoch is the right pronunciation, but it's definitely epoch time. If we take this 786 and run it through a converter to day, then we'll see that 1306 is what is being rendered on the page. Okay, so just to make sure that, just to prove that this is really true, if we take the 303, run it through the epoch time, we'll get 503 and that's what's rendered on the first slide. And to wrap it up, as I mentioned, the site is using Pixie.js for some of the rendering, Greensock for some of the animations, and texture packer for some of the managing of the sprite sheets. So the sprite sheets when done manually in Photoshop, they were exported through this texture packer to make them all aligned and to make it much more efficient. If you feel like starting with Greensock, then check out my Greensock tutorial for beginners, your first step with GSAP. You learn what Greensock is, what are the twin light, timeline light, timeline max and twin max plugins, how to create simple animation, how to use the to, from and from to, and how to add some custom easings. 
there you have it a simple website overview hopefully it gave you idea which tools to use if you want to create a website like this thanks again joey for sending it through the african sinatra rocks <laughs> And if you have a website which you want me to deconstruct in my future videos, leave it under the video in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying these deconstructions. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'll see you next week. Bye!